Beyblade, let it rip! <laughs> and I broke the I broke it on that one, actually. That's funny. Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild! My name is Sal and I play video games and apparently chuck logs down a mountain! In today's episode, we are going to be um well, we're gonna be heading back to Terrytown. That that was it. That was the intro. Thanks for thanks for being here. Bye! Now, in all seriousness, here we are back in Terrytown, and let's see what we could do with these 20 bundles of wood. Ooh. Hey! Did you bring the 20 bundles of wood? You're darn right I brought them. Excellent. Can I have them? Sure. You're a lifesaver. Well, next is, uh-huh, working such long hours every day really wears on my clothes. Could you look for someone who's got a gift for tailing for me? Tailoring? Mm. We're talking about tailor tailoring. There's someone uh, among the Gerudo who's good at that. Good luck, you'll need it. That seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in sun. If you're under anyone that fits with that, I have said, send them here to Terrytown for me. Sounds perfect, we will definitely do that. After that, I'm thinking let's head back to, um... Not Dueling Peaks. Let's head back to Hot No Village. I want to actually go ahead, work on expanding a little bit more of the furniture and stuff in the house. I want to set up the, um, the boulder breaker that we got from the Gorons. That way I don't accidentally use it and it gets broken. Because like I said before, I kind of want to mount all the heroes' weapons that I can. I think it would be a nice tribute to them. Uh, so let's go ahead and wait for this loading screen. I should probably stop this song now, because copyright infringement. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay, I probably just... Any any potential like new viewers just scared them off. They're gone. So uh, everyone who's left, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. We're going to head back to the house over here and go ahead and get working on the construction. Um, I'll be right back after I do everything that I can. All right, we are back after quite a lot of uh, construction here. So I do want to point out something that really annoys me. Is if you talk to him before he sits back down, he will tell you this. Whoa, whoa, easy there, chatty. A little space. Let me get where I'm going before you talk to me. You have to wait till he starts sitting down before you can talk to him. Now, I did leave this so there's only one thing left to build. It's on the house exterior, and I want him to plant me some gosh dang trees. Okay, let's do up front. And they go ahead and do their thing here. Time for some construction instruction. Olsen mm. construction! What's our crendo with seven colors of paint? Buildings bloom like the spring. That doesn't rhyme or anything, but, you know, whatever floats your goat. And with that, now we have little baby trees out in our lawn. Isn't it pretty? Pretty flawless, if I do say so myself. You should take a look. Ah, you, you, you housing monster! You got everything? Ah, such is the way of youth. Driven, even reckless, some might say. Well, since you bought everything, I threw in some free furniture. Yeah, least I could do. Carson, look lively. I am with you.
Well, I am tuckered. I couldn't swing a ball pen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Brick time, baby. And so with that, they will forever squat on your lawn. No, I'm joking. All right, so uh, all things included that they in have installed in the house, there's a sign with your name on it, Link's house. They plant a bunch of these flowers, which is really cool. You can cut them. I'm not sure if they come back or not, so keep that in mind. They do also plant a bunch of trees for you, as well as set up a lot of the stuff outside. Uh, I do believe you can climb on the house, definitely. Um, you cannot go through this back door or this little shed area, you can't get into it. But if we head inside, you can see that the place is now fully furnished. It's actually a really nice place, it's a really nice home. Uh, so you can see I set up the boulder crusher here, um, you could set bows here, and you could set shields right over here. Uh, there's this little under area, it looks like it's storage. Um, you can also see that there is, it kind of looks like a drying cord, but it's not. Well, maybe it has a drying cord. You also have a place to put up your clothes. And you have furniture up here now, besides the bed as well. As well as a little flower, which is kind of a nice touch, actually. They also put lights on the rafter. Did I just hit my head on the ceiling? I have to see that again, actually. Um... You can kind of stand up there. Um, so yeah, this plate, this house does look really nice and it feels really homey. And that's actually one of the touches I really like about uh, fully upgrading this house eventually when you have the money. Now overall, you have to pay for three exterior things, you have to uh, pay for three house things, and I believe that was the bed, the door, and the lights maybe? Or it was some other third thing. Then you have to pay for each of these. Um, the, like the little um, shield sands and all that. And each of these is going to cost you a hundred rupees. Overall, that's what, 900, 12, that's 1500 rupees easy. These guys have made a dang profit off of you. No wonder they're tired. And what's really nice is you will always have a place to cook here as well if you ever need it. Well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and run off. We're going to leave this place and we're going to go ahead and do a few more... Not side quests per se, but I want to go do some other things besides, you know, just the grind. I do want to look at getting our map expanded, actually, event, uh, eventually here. So, uh, first place I'm actually going to start is going up here to this tower, so I'll meet you up there. See a shrine in the distance there. And honestly, where it's sitting on the map, that might be where we want to start. We still have this whole area down here to uh, explore even. We haven't even gotten to half the map yet. Oh, this game is so wonderful. I And I love... There is a draw distance, obviously. But that draw distance is tiny, if you ask me. Look, look how far away you can see. You can see all the way to the tower. You can see a tower in the distance. You can see the bird... What is that even? Oh, that's a tree. I just... It sometimes amazes me just how far you can see. Anyway, for now, I think we're going to go ahead and head over to this shrine, and we're going to start filling out the rest of our map. ASAP, that's basically what we're going to be doing for the next couple episodes. We're also going to be hitting any shrines and or enemies that we can. Yes, enemies included, they're going to die as well as the shrines. I'm okay with that, actually. Um, now there is a shrine that I've known about for a while that we haven't gone to. Also, hello bird? <laughs> There's a shrine that we've known about for a while that we haven't gone to just because it is in the middle of the ocean. I think we might try and hit it next after that one there. Alright, so that guy's health bar is half gone already, and he's dead. Wow, that actually did not take long at all. Wild horses. So, I believe this is the video coming out on Tuesday. Uh, oh, wait, what? A wooden shield? Oh, I'll, I'll take the wooden shield. I I've actually got a lot of room now um, in my inventory for stuff. I, I did upgrade a lot of my space. Um, I'll take the soldier spear, why not? I've got plenty of inventory space at the moment. I'll probably need it later. Actually, I do need to make sure I have plenty of weapons and stuff here coming soon. Uh, because I do know what this, um, the shrine that I'm talking about is. Anyway, so today is Tuesday, or at least it should be Tuesday if I, uh, didn't mess up my videos. 
And so at this point, I should be back in town and uh, able to uh, operate normally. Actually, I'll probably be at work today while this goes up. So hello, future me. Enjoy working. Yep. Interesting. You're probably not, but that's fine. <clears throat> Is this thing gonna be angry? Ooh, what's that? One of the dragons. We're eventually gonna have to do that too. We can get scales from those dragons. Which that'll be fun. Also, hi bats, bye bats. I like how they flip to attack me and I'm just like, bye bye Ah, uh, by the way, I... I have a strong dislike for Koroks now. And what's really funny is Keaton has just taken to it. I, I'm okay with it, by the way, because it is kind of hilarious just how badly I dislike them. I'm just like, ah, oh, Koroks, they're the worst. Absolutely garbage. Ah, uh, they are absolute garbage, let's be honest. Um, part of why I'm really avoiding getting Koroks at the moment is because I really don't have time to edit all the... Or, no, I have time to edit the videos. I don't have time to super edit them. I'm actually, uh, right now, I've been taking notes as I've been uh, recording these episodes of when cuts are taking place and when they're not taking place. That way it should actually be easier for me to go through and edit them and like what parts I want to do highlights for and all this fun stuff. Uh, so like this episode, we're actually going to have the, um, we're going to have the, uh, car or the Olsen or whatever. Um, construction like little montage going on. I'm gonna try and get all the, the little different phrases in when I go to edit it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but I'm not, I'm also trying not to do the bare minimum. I still want these videos to look good. I still want them to be enjoyable. It's why I'm actually, I, I'm not sure why, but like, hi music, you're upstepping a little. Um, I'm not sure why, but I've been just really enjoying just talking, running around, recording. It might be because I've also been running into a bunch of new stuff that I haven't actually done in-game before. That could be part of it. And you know, I'm just going to ignore these little buggers. <laughs> They're gonna throw rocks at me. And I don't have a bow equipped. Is that high or low? Hi. Hi. Dead. A little low. Lower. He's dead. Okay. And then I see... There we go! I'm like, how have I not hit these explosive barrels? I was really concentrating too, by the way, so I apologize about that. And now they've probably all noticed me. So, I would like to show off the power of the Master Sword while we're here. Oh yeah. By the way, I love getting attacked by multiple people. Because, get fucked. That's why. Also, this sword does a lot of damage to them. Look, look at them. They're all just dead. They're all dead, and I'm okay with that. Dead, dead, dead. Oh man, look at all these drops. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, delicious drops. I'll take this all day long. I actually want to go pick up what the archers drop because I'm not low on arrows per se, but I am feeling the burn. Also, thank you for notifying me that there is a shrine nearby. Indeed, indeed. Okay, let's pick up all this guy's stuff. I love how a few of them just got, like, incinerated as soon as, like, the bomb blew up. Like, like all they're all like, there's these arrows of, of fire hitting the ground. What are those? Yep. I'm creative. So actually, I want us, I, I want us to just say how far I've actually come in playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, so this is actually our first time even trying to head up to the shrine, I, I believe, in this playthrough. And... That was weird. Um, and in my personal play file, I've actually already tried to come up here, and I had such a hard time. I tried to sneak past these guys, I tried to fight them head on. I just struggled. But now that we've got all the different powers from the Divine Beasts and 
the amount of hearts and the amount of stamina. Like, this is starting to become a cakewalk, and I'm honestly enjoying that it's not nearly as difficult. Um, I know I've played a few bullet hells, um, like Cave Story Plus, but th this game sometimes can be worse than that, and that's ironic, because it's The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda is known for being rated E for everyone. What is this rated? Hold on, I have to double check what this game is even rated. Um... No, that's not the case. Where did I put the case for the game? Um... Oh, there it is. It's rated... It's rated everyone 10 and up. It's a 10 and up game. They like making 10 year olds rage. Hear that? Okay, so here... We should have a modest test of strength. So not too ter not too terrible, not too easy. All right, looks like he has a shield and a big axe. It's fine by me. So we're actually gonna use a. Sorry, burps. We're actually gonna use a master sword for this fight, uh, just because I want to show you how much damage it does. Look at this guy, he does not stand a chance because he is embowed with the power of evil! Also, I thought we're, I thought Link was gonna just flurry through that, but I do wanna show pretty early on what happens if we exhaust the sword. It shouldn't be bad, but I definitely want to use up its power for now just because we can. Um, now, if I, use, if I was using the guardian equipment I had on me, he'd probably be taking more damage, but I mean, the Master Sword is doing a, a moderate amount of damage. So we do get the message that the Master Sword is running low on energy. Let's let him do his little thing here. So that means we should... Yep, it has run out of energy. So that actually makes it so the Master Sword disappears out of your inventory. Do not worry, it will come back. This guy's mad. I'm not going to be going to one of the Divine Bees for a while, so I figured that should be fine. Link! I like how he's like, what is jumping and using the Paracel with air below me, just because I was focused on this guy? I'm getting really I'm re getting really good at these counters, by the way. Um, that's one thing I have been enjoying. I heard you'd like a uh, ancient battle axe to the face. Are you gonna do a spin or what are you doing? Oh, he's charging his laser beams. Okay. So I find it's easier to actually back away from these guys. If you feel like you're going to screw up the deflect, move out of the way. And like that, we have defeated the shrine. I want to pick up his stuff. All of it. All right, and let's see what the reward is for beating this modest te test of strength. I'm pretty sure it's an ancient core, but we shall see. All right, Knight's Bow. I'll take it. All right, well, with that, everyone, I'm going to have to call it here for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, go and subscribe. And if you'd like to share this with your friends and family, maybe make them aware of the channel, that'd be very much appreciated. Either way, my name is Sound, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!